she was one of a kind, the only naval warship to serve in both world wars. A date which will live in infamy. Now she's battling her most serious enemy yet, time. After serving with such distinction in the last century, she deserves nothing less in the next. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, or TPWD, has been challenged with a huge and inspiring endeavor, the preservation and protection of the historic battleship Texas. In 1948, the battleship was gifted to the state of Texas by the U.S. Navy, and she was secured in a slip on the Houston Ship Channel in the San Jacinto Battleground State Historic Site. Over the last 60 years, this unique National Historic Landmark has been subject to dire environmental and physical threats while resting in the shallow, brackish waters of the ship channel. Now, TPWD's task, as mandated by the Texas Legislature and the Legislative Budget Board, is to place the Texas in a permanent dry berth. TPWD Project Manager Neil Thomas tells us more. It's TPWD's desire on the project to respect the many resources at play on the project. While our task is clear, which is to preserve the battleship Texas, and we plan to do so by constructing a dry berth for her, in order to accomplish that task, we must forge a sense of respect and open communication between Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, the U.S. Navy, and all interested stakeholders that will endure throughout the course of the project. If we do this, it will be possible to do the best thing for the ship, the best thing for the battleground, and to be good stewards of the cultural, natural, and fiscal resources belonging to the citizens of Texas. In 2007, Texas voters approved this $25 million dry berth project, and it was funded by the Texas State Legislature in 2009. As TPWD set forth to save the battleship, three equally important priorities for the project were identified. TPWD ship manager Andy Smith explains. The first priority is that the solution is more economically viable over a very long term for the overall operations and management of the ship. The second is reversibility that we have the option to undo the proposed solution and that no permanent changes are made to the ship. And third is that any potential adverse effects to the historic and cultural values of the battleship and the battleground are considered. In 2010, TPWD selected a team to conduct studies and develop design options for the dry berth project. The project team began an evaluation of the ship's condition and performed a feasibility study for dry berthing the ship. During the summer of 2011, investigations of the ship's hull revealed surprising and alarming news about the Texas's fragile condition. Hull inspections indicated that moving the Texas to a different location, even temporarily, could present considerable risk to the ship. Moving Texas could also endanger navigation on the Houston Ship Channel. The project team responded by developing design concepts for dry berthing Texas in her current location. Illuminating the dry berth alternatives. Here are the five dry berthing options that TPWD is putting forward for your review. These conceptual designs were selected from numerous options developed and considered. The first four design concepts were created in coordination with field surveys and studies conducted by the project team. Cost estimates for these concepts later revealed that they may not be economically feasible. The project team went back to the drawing board to design a fifth option that meets the goals of the dry berth project within the available budget allotted by the Texas State Legislature. As the project team further develops this fifth conceptual design option, TPWD is accepting further viable and reasonable alternatives from the public. The project team is considering these conceptual designs and potential alternatives while preparing an environmental assessment, or EA, document in coordination with TPWD's lead federal agency, the Department of the Navy, Naval Sea Systems Command, or NAVC. This EA is being prepared to comply with the Department of the Navy and National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, requirements. At the same time, the project team is following the consultation process required by the National Historic Preservation Act. What is an environmental assessment? An environmental assessment is a formal study that documents the evaluation of possible effects, positive or negative, that a proposed project may have on the natural, social and economic environment. 
The EA study process evaluates multiple alternatives as well as measures to prevent, minimize and compensate for adverse environmental effects. The public is invited to participate in the EA process by providing valuable feedback to assist the project team in selecting the most desirable or preferred alternative. Compliance with the National Historic Preservation Act Sections 106 and 110 of the National Historic Preservation Act require that all federal agencies take into account the effects of their actions on historic properties, such as the Battleship Texas and the San Jacinto Battleground. Ways to avoid, minimize, or mitigate any adverse effects to historic resources are developed during this process, which is overseen by the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, an independent federal agency. The Sections 106 and 110 processes will result in a Memorandum of Agreement designed to address any adverse effects to historic properties. The NEPA and 106 processes will provide NAVC with the information that they need to make an informed decision about the project. Now, we need your help. We need your feedback about the proposed Dry Birth Project. Your comments will be considered as a vital part of the NEPA and National Historic Preservation Act processes. We're doing it for my kids. We're doing it for your kids. Um, we're going to accomplish this project. We will accomplish this project, and we're going to be doing it for the citizens of Texas and, um, as Andy Smith said, for citizens of the world. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department is honored to be part of this inspiring endeavor, serving the citizens of Texas with a solution for the preservation and protection of this historic landmark. With your participation and feedback, we're on board together to give the Battleship Texas a permanent place in history. <laughs>